My name is Eugene E. Jones, Jr. I'm the author of Housing Humans. You know, people sit there and think about public housing. It's always a negative stereotype. Public housing, poor people, high crime. People don't want to work. People don't want to do anything but sit there and, and take advantage of the government, government subsidies. That's not really what public housing is all about. To me, it's providing housing for people who are less fortunate, who can't find a way and wish to get decent, affordable housing in great neighborhoods. They want to contribute, and we need to find a way to contribute. And in my book, I hopefully uh, describe what that means in that process. Rahm Emanuel, uh, the former mayor of Chicago, was t tenacity when it came to uh, affordable housing, how we treat neighborhoods, how we treat people and so forth, how do we do partnerships, community partnerships, and how we get something done. It's always the end game for uh, uh, Rahm Emanuel. You gotta get it done. There's no, there's no, well, let me think about it, let me, nah, no. He gives you a date to get it done, that's when you gotta get it done. Now, the mayor of uh, Toronto, the former Rob uh, uh, Ford, he was great. He was just great. He was in the neighborhood. He went to these developments, these social housing. He was always there, handing out his cards, demanded that I be there when he goes door to door and talks about what's not happening, what should be happening, and what's going to happen. I guess what, what people will ask is, okay, you have a Republican mayor that made a comment, and I have a Democratic mayor that made a comment, and then I have another mayor, uh, the mayor of Toronto, saying something about this book. Um, what, what I'm trying to show people is that you can work under any circumstances, Democrat or Republican, and still be successful. You still have to have a message. You still have to have a mayor that's going to uh, uh, provide you with an opportunity and open up the pearly gates and let you, let you do the things that you're doing. You know, we're talking about um, our vulnerability, and this happened before COVID-19, and it's going to ex explode um, as we're going through COVID-19. We're talking about black and brown people, we're talking about Native Americans, we're talking about every ethnic group that are out there uh, trying to find housing that's um, affordable, equitable, in great neighborhoods and so forth. Um, because of the COVID-19 and because they have a, a, a moratorium on evictions, sometime or someplace, somewhere, they're gonna lift that moratorium. And what people don't understand is that the rent is not forgetting. You still have to pay that back rent. If you haven't paid rent in April, you got back pay rent from April till the, the relief of this moratorium. I've been a big brother since 1989, and I'm still with my little brother. They provide intervention for these kids to not uh, do bad things, think about bad things, but doing great things for the community. It provided an opportunity for my little brother who never been arrested, never been in jail, has never done drugs, and is gainfully employed and contributing to his neighborhood. That's why Big Brothers Big Sisters is important to me personally and professionally. I've uh, contributed to uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters for the last 40 years. I've been on their board of directors in Oakland uh, for a couple of years. I believe in that organization and this is what I want to give back to my community and to people who know me that my heart is in Big Brothers Big Sisters and helping young people get to where they need to go.